Hey guys, it's Monster Cameron here, and um, I'm starting a new project. It's, uh, it's going to be called Cup of Java. Uh, so basically what it is, is I'm going to force myself to learn Java in front of a camera. I'm going to screen record everything, and then I'm just going to present it to you, and, and just to show you how someone uh, self-teaches uh, self, uh, a new language. Uh, so there are a couple of details about the project. Um, a lot of things haven't been worked out yet. It's going to be... Uh, uh, worked out as we go along but uh, from the get go it's going to be we're going to create an app um, we're going um, we're going to do source control and we're going to deploy it on Google Play and then um, we're going to market that app so from top to bottom from learning to um, to distributing uh, to marketing um, so the app while we don't have a lot of details the app is going to be um, basically uh, a simple uh, application for toddlers. Uh, it's going to be a farm, uh, like a album. It's going to show the different animals. It's going to show some facts. Um, it's going to play some animal sounds, and that's going to be it. There's going to be a paid version and a free version. Um, and it's going to be developed using only open source software. So that's going to be GIMP. For image editing, we're going to use Eclipse with the Android SDK, and uh, for audio and stuff like that, we're going to use Audacity and some of the other tools that you can easily get on Ubuntu's repo. This is, um, this is going to be the pilot episode to see how uh, the format's going to be, so please forgive me if it's uh, not there yet. And because we're going to be using uh, open source tools, there's going to be some limitations, like for the video editing. I'm going to have to be using uh, OpenShot, which is limited, but bear with me. So um, uh, we'll see how this develops. Uh, hopefully it gets uh, it goes somewhere. All right. Okay, so um, we're starting development. And um, Android, um, I don't even know where to start. So we got this guide here from XDA developers. I'll have the link in the description. It's it's a tutorial to game development, and uh, I think we'll use this to, uh, to to develop the application. So following um, the tutorials, we go to uh, lesson one. What is Java? Java. Everyone's heard of it, but what is it really? I'm not going to delve too deeply in the Java details, blah, 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 the information is available online. Java is designed to be everywhere in phone, cars, computers, and blah, blah, blah. Well, Java will be the foundational structure of Android game development. A final note, these instructions are for Mac and Windows. Hmm, hopefully they're not too different uh, for, for Ubuntu Linux, GNU slash Linux. Alright, so I've already gone through these steps to install um, Eclipse. I have it right here. Oops. There we go. Um, so I got I have Eclipse installed, so that's, um, that's easy. Well, it took me a while to get it, but there we go. So we're getting a little bit deeper into it. So we have, uh, I guess, different perspectives. Eclipse has multiple perspectives suited for different tasks. Check out the current selected perspective in Java. If it's not Java, go to Windows Perspective, other than select Java. So I think it's in Java. I did try some stuff before. So, Window, Open Perspective, Other. Yeah, where is it? Java. Alright, so we're in Java perspective. Um, view console. Why do we need to view console? Uh, that should be alright. Alright, so now we're going to create a new uh, project. So let's go to new. That's a Java project. Alright, so name is going to be. Uh, uh, cup of Java uh, one. Mm, 
default location. Let's change this. Alright, so it's going to be in here. Let's create a new folder. I'm just going to put, um, well, just call it app. Hmm. Okay, so let's do. Well, let's see what the tutorial says. Let's not go too far ahead. All right, so press finish. Okay. Double click on it to expand. All right, so finish is good. Double click to expand. Okay. Alright, sources where all your code will be created. Okay, that's understandable. Shari system library, if your version of Java is not 1.7, let my screen fill Don't worry about it. We won't have compatibility issues. Containers per in Java code that you can import into your own projects. This is where programmers let me and you do not have to waste time writing code to perform frequent okay, blah blah blah. High level, low level, high level, interacts with the basis. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Alright, so right click on source, new, uh, create a Java class file named Hello World. Okay, now we're moving. A little bit of so our class um, name. Hello world. Hmm. What are the options I should choose? By convention, class names are st start capitalized, and every subsequent word is capitalized. Okay. Okay. So I don't need to do any of the options. To finish. All right. So right now we're doing fine. Java syntax. Okay. The proper words, public class, basically are descriptors of the world, hello world, that follows. I don't understand what that means. Oh, the word, hello world, okay. Uh, they are declaring that hello world is a class that is public. They can access by other class, okay, that's understandable. Okay. Let's work on this. I read a book. That said, hello, and it was good. Hmm. Double quotes, and single quotes. You also need a quote to make it easier to tell with practice. Okay. Class. Objects. Okay. What is a class? Objects. Objects in we will describe things that have both a state behavior, for example, if one's watch if one state can be turned on or off, while its behavior can be displaying a game or play music. Objects in program are said they have they too have a state and behavior, storing state in fields and call call variables. Okay. Class then is blueprint for which individual objects are created, the template classes are you to create objects and classes, okay. The class we have created together, hello world. So hello world is a class. It's not the best example for what a class is. So here is a pseudo class that better illustrates. Okay. The phone, class phone, that's an object. And it has variables, say wait, turned on, string, get the color, okay. It's a little function right here, toggle power. And there's a true false variable, boolean. Okay, turned on. If turned on equals true, turned on is assigned false. Alright, that's how it is, that's how I say it. It's, it's, which one's assigned and which one's equal? Confused. We'll probably explain it. This is container class called phone. In other words, it contains the blueprint for use. Okay. 
Gil Bruce is doing beginning in a full toggle. Okay, that's understandable. Two minutes of if statements. If you have never put them before, okay, that, I understand that part. Whenever a line begins with, okay, it's coming down. Yeah. That's their first count of these statements. These are variables. Integer, boolean, tr that's true or false string. Uh, okay. Um, that's easy to understand. Okay, there we go. There's an equal sign and there's a double equal sign. The first of these, the assignment operator assigns the second item as the value of the first item. Weight equals zero, assign zero to the value of weight. Okay, so that's the assign. The latter of these is comparative. It compares the first item to the second. I turned on equal equals true. Doesn't assign true as a value of turned on, but rather checks if turned on is equal to true. Okay. So letting that sink in. Quick lesson in naming. Classes are typically named like example class name. Methods are example method name and example. That's camel casing. Oh, okay. I know that. I know that. Hmm. Alright, so this is what we have in the <coughs> in the eclipse window. A main method a method by the name of main is the entry point for your program. It will automatically be invoked or call when you run the program. Okay, pressing the run. Okay. Dissecting the main method. Public static void or Java modifiers. So what does public mean? Public visible to other classes. Java programs usually incorporate multiple class uh, class files. And if you want to refer to a code in the class or other classes, make it public. Okay. Static means that there is only one copy of the main method. Recall that classes are blueprints for objects. If you create multiple objects, then you then each can have their own method that operates independently from each other. Okay. Is that like multiple instances or like I don't know. If you set something as static, it means that they all share that one method. So whatever changes you make to and from the method will apply to copies of the output. I don't understand that. Avoid. Whenever we call a method, call means to act. Okay, that's. Okay. We can ask to receive a value back. Oh, that's the, like a return thing. Okay. For it means. Oh, okay, so. Uh, that's, that makes sense. All right, I know the argument things. I understand that. Um, applying number two to the main method. All right, so you know that the main method requires an argument of type string called args. The, I don't know what it is, indicates that this is an array. Oh, I think that's braces. Two braces. Okay. Which you can think of as a table. I don't know what it, uh, an array is. Alright. Here is the main method with braces. Alright, so. public class hello world so that's that file that we made right where's eclipse this is a class that we made so why are we calling that a Copy this code in the groups and press run, it will compile successfully and run. So, why are we creating another thing inside the class? Or does 
the class run this when it started from the main what was it method when it started method I wasn't paying attention all right yeah it's a method okay the main method so the class opens up the main method when it when it's uh, ran all right so let's uh, copy that over an array parts hmm. all right if you want to copy this code compile successfully how do you compile Or did I break something? Maybe I should connect my my tablet. Oop, there's some stuff happening. All right, so let's let's run in and see if anything. happening you said it would run it would compile what it didn't say it would run with it it would compile and run successfully all right let's do the next thing first then we can jump back to that one And then we will close that. Uh, that was pretty basic. Okay, yeah. Uh, the system refers to a class in the library. That we've mentioned before. Okay, yeah, they were talking about the different Java versions API. Okay. Um, the pairs between system uh, out and out. What? System and out and out and print in represent hierarchy. Okay. For example, hello world at main args we invoke the main method in the class hello world. Okay, yeah. Printing requires an argument inside it. You can type both literals, meaning the thing that represents themselves and variables. Okay, that's understandable. You do the literals inside the quotes and the variables just put your names there. If you want to know what blah blah blah, it gives you a link over there. I know it's frustrating for some of you to be writing code that you don't fully understand. Right. I don't fully understand but I get the basics of that. Okay, so Servers exist and require projects. Proceed with launch. Yeah. Oh, so line four. Oh, what did I do wrong now? Uh, 
don't know what happened. That's not good. Alright. Print in. Oh! I didn't capitalize. Yeah, that's not good. Something else is wrong. Print in. Unresolved compilation problem method print in string is undefined for the type print stream. So I gotta include something. It's a type print stream. Hello world. What's a what's a Let's see what Eclipse has to say to fix this. Change print. Change the print in. Oh, print line. LN. Not print in. Damn fonts. Alright, let's, let's, uh, let's do that. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so that's the first one. Okay, so I think I'm going to end this here for this um, this very first episode. Um, we're going to try a couple more tutorials on the next episode, and we're going to try to do some... Well, let me show you the list that I had. So I gave you the introduction, went through some of the ideas for the project, starting to understand Eclipse a little bit. Uh, we're going to try to learn source control. I have that lined up for the uh, next episode. We're gonna do code school. We're gonna do the try the free try get um, uh, class, and um, we're gonna uh, do some research on the, the various licenses for which we can uh, put this uh, soft piece of software under. Uh, we're gonna learn some more of the Java syntax. Um, we're gonna mess around with the APIs. We're gonna follow the tutorials that they gave us, um, and we're just gonna look around. So this is just like a rough draft of what we're gonna do. So, um, there we go. Uh, if you have any feedback, if you have any ideas for the series, let me know. If you have, um, if you, uh, you can also follow along, you can leave like video responses for, for how you uh, understood the, the tutorial. I'm going to have the link in the description. I'm going to follow that one. So, um, we'll see where this takes us. Alright, to the next episode.